Even in a nuclear war, it is amazing to see people's ingenuity and nothing better than the scavenger platform located just south of Fisherman's Pride, just floating around Lake Mead. Now, whoever built it probably thought that it was going to be a fantastic idea. Enter Lake Lurks, who probably removed the previous residence, I would imagine. Now, it is several platforms full of various loot, ammo boxes and crates. However, it does have a Wasteland Survival Guide, giving you plus three to your survival, plus four with the Comprehension Perk, and we empty Foot Locker as well. Let's go on to the third platform, where you can find a few scattering bottles, and of course, a star bottle cap, one located right here, and uh, ammo box, metal box, and a wee campfire for all you hardcore playthroughs. Do the Lake Lurks respawn I'm not sure. I don't think so. Would I ever recommend this place as some form of player housing? No, that would be crazy. So I'm pretty sure someone has. I, I'm 100% sure someone has used this as player housing. Whether, whether it can be, let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever used it as a player house? Is it possible? Well, there's no... Is there a bed? I didn't see a bed anywhere. Hello, on that last platform was there a bed? See, if there's no bed... I I don't I don't think this is a good place for a oh there is there is beds of course I just looked at it it's late over here brilliant there's beds this could be a player home that's crazy anyways I will be moving on to the sunken sarsaparilla truck which has about four or five bo star bottle caps and uh, highly recommend you check that out if not be sure to have a look at Fisherman's Pride Shack anyways. Thank you for joining the Fallout New Vegas Explored series. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.